Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth event in the second games, the Nordic Combined. My name is that Andy guy and I'll be commentating this match. And in this event, the runners will be competing against each other in the extra stage of World 5 in Yoshi's Island called Comics Revenge. The first objective of this stage is to retrieve a key hidden behind a chomp rock on a tiny platform without getting knocked into the abyss by a comic soaring across the screen and green gloves attempting to pelt you with eggs. After grabbing the key, they'll make their way towards the middle ring, also known as a checkpoint for the unfamiliar, to unlock a door to a shack where Yoshi will be equipped with skis. In this portion of the level, they will have to strategically jump, not only to continue to dodge comics assault, but also to avoid rolling rocks and bottomless pits. At the bottom of the ski slopes, after a huge jump, Yoshi will utilize his helicopter form to escape more attacks from comic, green gloves, and bumpties. The runner to reach the goal ring at the end of the stage the fastest will be awarded the gold medal. But without further ado, let's introduce the event's participants. First up, we've got Dave of Tierra de las Hermanos Hook, Rick of Imperium Ludum, John of You Betcha Stan, and CJ of Daisy Baby Bitch Territory. All right, kicking things off is Dave here. We're gonna roll right into it. Get the first couple of jumps in, and oh no, you hate to see that, that's an early death. But uh, thankfully that's not too far into the stage, so we're not going to lose too much time there. Dave getting right back on it, probably going to see him being a little bit more cautious. And now we're going to collect the key, let's we'll see how he fares with the eggs. And comic flying at him. Mission complete on that front, we've got the key, off to the next part of the level. Gonna do some platforming, hit the switch to get your walkway going for the next part of the stage. There's another switch down the road, but uh, we don't really need it since we're not going for collectibles. We just want to get to the end as quickly as possible. And that's a hit there. We're not going to lose too much time. We got uh, Baby Mario back almost immediately. And uh, another hit there. Gotta retrieve him or else you're not getting anywhere. So we're off to the next portion, gonna hit the middle ring, and get Yoshi his skis. Oh, there we go. Almost ran right past the door there. And we've got his skis, look at how adorable. Baby Mario gets a neat little cap there. And we're off to the first jump, clean. Jump over the rolling rock there. Second jump pass. Oh, mistiming that one leading to a death. That little fall will waste a little bit of extra time there, unfortunately. But thankfully, we got the middle ring and we are right back to it. We're getting the skis back. And back to the slopes. Headed down to the first jump. Cleanly done again. I'm going to dodge that rock. Timing on that jump, extremely better. So, oh no, we're hitting the next obstacle though. Whenever you hit anything, including Comic or one of the rocks at the end of the jump, what's going to happen is gonna, you're, you're going to roll into a snowball, and that does slow you down a bit. Dave has made it to the next portion of this ski slopes though. Oof, not jumping the right portion, so we're going to slow down again thanks to that snowball animation. But now we're off to the last jump. It's the big one. And perfect, right into the helicopter. So we're gonna transform and head straight up for a little bit. Get bumped around by the eggs. You can actually use those to boost you up a little bit, but he wasn't worried about it too much. Now we just have to worry about the terrain and the bump to you. So slamming into the walls might slow you down a little bit, but anything to really keep you from falling into those bottomless pits uh, is really worth taking the hit for, so. We're back at the Yoshi block, back to normal form, and we are at the end of the stage. All he's got to do now is jump through that goal ring, and his run is done at 2 minutes and 51 seconds. Solid run by Dave there. And uh, up next, we're just going to get right into that with Rick. Dave setting the time at 2 minutes 51 seconds. And off we go. Rick starting things off with uh, smooth platforming there. We'll see how he does getting that key. Didn't even have to budge that rock using the egg as a boost to get up to the next platform. That was very clean. Very solid play by Rick so far. Stalling a little bit in the air to get Comic to keep himself up there and out of his way. And using 
the Switch as a boost to get up to the next platform. Very nice work there. Unfortunately, taking a hit back a few platforms ago, but not too bad as he is already just killing the competition. Takes a moment to look up for a second before he gets the skis, and he's off to the slopes. First jump is up. Clean, solid landing. Rick looking pretty solid so far. Not one fumble jump at this point. Unfortunately, Comet getting in the way at the very end, but thankfully he was at the end of that portion, so he was able to go right into it. Your position resets no matter what's going on, so oof, taking another hit at the end of that jump there. Here comes the big jump. Looks like he's uh, well on his way to getting helicopter form. Boom, right up on it. And up he goes. Just zoom in upwards to get Comic out of the way so he doesn't have to worry about him. Unfortunately, the Bumpty knocking him back a little bit. They don't do damage, but clearly they will set you back if you run straight into them. Almost ran out of helicopter mode time. And landing on Comic. Oh no, that's going to take a little bit of time trying to get baby uh, Mario back. But we're at the end of the stage. Jump into the goal ring, and that's his run. Rick setting the time and the lead to two minutes and seven seconds. That was a great run by Rick there. Um, we even got to see a few little speed strats at the beginning portion of the level. Unfortunately, a couple of slip ups at the very end with uh, getting hit by Comic and the Bumpty there in the helicopter form. But overall, a super solid run. And up next, we've got CJ. All right, we're kicking off the level. CJ going through, just not even worrying about the stairs at all, or the key for that matter. Let's see if he goes back to snag that. I think uh, he was just wanting to get rid of that one guy so he can not have to worry about him throwing eggs while he went to grab the key. So that made that part a little bit easier. Unfortunately, getting battered by those eggs and knocked into a pit. So another early death, unfortunately, but we're going to get right back to it. Oh, going down the stairs this time around. Is he going to take him out first? Yes. Oof. Using that hovering, though, to get right back up there. Almost lost him again. Two seconds left on the clock, and there goes another death for CJ, unfortunately. Going to have to kick that one back. we got plenty of lives to deal with. And off we go. He's going to take out this uh, green glove here. Ground Pound takes him out in one hit. Almost got sniped by Comic there, but he was too smooth for him. Got the key, and we're off to the next portion of this stage. Using the egg for a little boost. Oh, but unfortunately, Comic grabs him again. And, oh, uh, no. Oh, made it back up to the platform only to get slapped and knocked back into the abyss. I'm gonna have to start over from the beginning. I like those little guys that bounce through the beginning. I forget what they're called, but uh, they seem like they'd be nice little buddies to have. Taking out Green Glove. I'm gonna snag the key from the rock here. Comic's making his way downtown. And, ugh, sniping him again. That section really giving CJ some trouble here. Let's see how he tackles it this time around. Comic definitely getting his revenge in this run. He is not happy. Oh. Green glove down. Going back to get the key. As he waits for Comic to jump by, or fly by rather. Snags the key. Jumps over him again, uses the egg as a booster. And now we've got our exclamation point platforms down. Boing. Oh, didn't get the boost from the button there, but... Looks like he's doing pretty well this next portion here. A little bit of slowdown from all these birds on screen. And we are off to the slopes. Let's hit that middle ring and get those skis on. All right.
right, we're off to the first jump. First jump cleared. Rolling Rock not giving him much trouble either. And that jump was very clean as well. We love to see it. Unfortunately, Comet getting the best of him right there, rolling into a snowball, only to get reset by the screen transition. Up, oh, jumping at the wrong time, unfortunately, so that's going to lose a little bit of time, too. Now we're at the big jump. Going straight into helicopter mode. Time to begin the ascent. Let's get bopped by an egg first. And away we go. Let's see how he handles the terrain and the bumpties. Going a little low there. I was worried that we were going to see a uh, fall in helicopter mode. Yoshi is pretty much invincible here, but if he doesn't get where he needs to go soon enough, he gets warped all the way back to the bubble he got helicopter from mode from. And unfortunately, in this stage, that means that's a death. So we're going to have to go back to the middle ring and do the skiing section all over again. But if he does well with the skiing like he did last time, then uh, not too much time lost there. So we're going to see him make these jumps real quick. Some nice movement. Rock's not posing any problems whatsoever. And running into Comic again, unfortunately. Oof. Oh, messed up the jump at the end of that cloud there. Funny to think about jumping off of clouds anyway. But we're back at the big jump. We're going to get our helicopter, move up the mountain again. Now you really got to watch for Comic in the background because he pretty much tells you when he's coming. So, let's see, dodging the bumpty. Maneuvering through the terrain, dodging comic. That's some good movement. And we are at the Yoshi block. Can he get there in time? Yes. Had me worried there for a second. And we're at the goal. Let's see what the time is after jumping through that ring. CJ at 5 minutes 45 seconds. Good job on completing that run, CJ. And we've got John to round things out, so uh, looking forward to seeing this run here in just a moment. Rick's still holding the lead at 2 minutes and 7 seconds, so John has his work cut out for him, but let's see how he fares. Alright, here goes John. Starting off his run. Not worrying about going down the stairs, looks like uh, he's taking the same strategy of taking out the green glove before getting the key. Very safe strat there. Oh, unfortunately, he went too far back and respawned the green glove, which eventually took him out. Attempt number two coming up, though. All right, so he's going to take out green glove. Unfortunately, mistiming it and getting bopped by Comet there. We've got baby Mario back, though, and we're going to grab that key. We're going to dodge some eggs. Unfortunately, getting hit by Comic right as he was doing the ground pound to take out the bad guy. Are they really bad guys, though? Anyway, we're going to hit the switch, get our platforms going. We're going to barely dodge Comic there. That was a very, very close call. Not even worrying about the second switch. He just wants to get on to the next portion of the level. I can see him trying to kind of determine where Comic's going to be when he pops up on the screen. Very smart moves there. And we're at the middle ring. Gonna walk right through it and get those skis on to head down the slopes. First jump clear. Gonna dodge that rolling boulder. And just looking like no sweat for John on that one. Is he going to be able to dodge Comic there? No. Oh, snap. He sure did. I thought that timing was a little off, but he made it without a scratch. 
going for a little swag to get the red coin there. I see you. Unfortunately, getting turned into a snowball there for a split second. And we're off to the big jump. Gonna run into that helicopter bubble and make the ascent up the mountain to go to the last aerial portion of the level. Let's see how he deals with Comic and the Bumpties. Some pretty good movement so far. We're dodging everybody. Comic getting uh, kept at the top of the screen here. Let's see if he makes it in time to hit the Yoshi block. And we're in there. Off to the end of the level. Gonna jump through the ring. And John's time, two minutes, 43 seconds. So that concludes today's event. Looks like we've got Rick in first place getting the gold medal at two minutes and seven seconds. John snagging silver with two minutes and 43 seconds. And Dave with the bronze, two minutes, 51 seconds. And with that, the current standings are as follows. In first place, we have Tierra de los Hermanos Hook with three gold medals and one bronze medal. Second place up is Imperium Ludum with two gold medals, two silver medals, and one bronze medal. Third place, we've got You Betcha Stan with two silver medals and one bronze medal. And in fourth place, we have Daisy Baby Bitch Territory with one silver medal and two bronze medals. Thanks again for tuning in to today's event. I'm that Andy guy. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for Alpine Skiing. And remember, real G's move in silence. <laughs>